Hey guys, I hope everyone's had a really great week and that you guys are getting ready for fall. I finally feel like I can breathe and I'm ready for fall to start. Now, I come to you guys today because I actually kind of had um, some crazy thoughts that entered my head yesterday as I was getting ready in peace and silence. And this is what happens when children aren't in my way and at my feet. So I know that social media can be scary for a lot of people. And it was pretty scary for me when I first started. And the comical thing about this is that I put off joining Facebook for as long as I possibly could. I was not a fan, thought it was totally stupid, and I just did not want to be a part of it. And now here I am, and I feel like I know social media pretty well. Of course, I'm not an expert at all. Please do not mistake that. But I have figured out a lot of do's and don'ts with social media. And one of the things that I thought about the other morning was that you know, when we are sharing the opportunity to book, we are trying to figure out what exactly it is that um, is going to make our potential hostess really jump on the idea to book, right? What's her why behind booking? When we're trying to make a sale, we're trying to do the same thing. I know a lot of us have read that book, Why She Buys. And again, we're trying to figure out her why behind making a purchase with us. Same with sharing the opportunity of 31 with a potential recruit. We really talk about um, how we want to build that relationship and we want to focus on her why and not our why. And it's not about us when we're adding people to our team that it's really about them. And that's 100% genuine and I fully am on board with that. Now here's the thing. What a lot of us are hesitant to do is to really think about what form of communication will she be attracted to? What form of communication is it that's really going to grab her? Because we all have different forms, right? Older generations typically like phone calls, right? They like to get on the phone. They like to chat with their friends. That's what they're used to. That's what they're comfortable with. That is inside their comfort zone. My generation, which I'm in my 30s, so my generation, we don't really do the phone. That's not our thing. We do more text messaging, we do more emailing, and um, we're getting into the social media aspect of it. Now, if you work in businesses that need phone calls and require such, we are willing to get outside of our comfort zone and make those phone calls, right? Okay. Younger generations, though, what what is their form of communication? It sure as heck is not a phone call because if you call somebody in their 20s, they're going to decline your phone call, send it straight to voicemail, and then while you are leaving that voicemail, they are going to text you and say, hey, what's up, what you need? Am I right? Does that irritate anybody else? Because it totally irritates me. But this is really poignant in our business because we need to get over our fear of using social media to communicate and really reach out to these younger generations and really have that be a part of why does she want a book? Why would she want a book? What's in it for her? Why would she want to purchase this month because of the sale? Like what, what does this special have to do with her and her life? Why is the opportunity for 31 even relevant to her and her life? We just, we cannot stick to reaching out and just making phone calls. I am not saying that making phone calls is a bad thing. I tell my team all the time to make phone calls. I make phone calls all the time. That's how I do a majority of my follow-up. But I will say this, that I am very intentional in finding out what type of communication is preferred with a majority of my customers because it makes a huge difference in the response that I get and the number of responses that I get. So if I'm phone phoning somebody that just wants to text message all day and she doesn't want to pick up the phone, the likelihood of me getting a response from her is zero. Why? Because she doesn't want to talk on the phone. And if I am texting an older generation of somebody that can barely use their texting skills on their phone, guess what? they're more than likely not going to respond, right? So the way that we're communicating with people cannot be the way that we prefer. It has to be all about them. Again, this is building that relationship and growing that trust and loyalty with them through showing them that I am here to learn about you. I am here to make this as comfortable and easy for you as possible. I say all of this because 
I told you guys that I am going to share on my groups in a couple weeks. I'm going to share some training videos about the different groups that I have. I've gotten lots of questions about those and I am more than happy to share on those because I think that they have made a ginormous difference in some areas of my business. And as much as we all have a love-hate with groups, because we do, right? Like we love that groups are an option and we hate how many we're in, right? I'm sure we can all agree on that. I will say this, they are so incredibly useful. And when you have a specific group for a specific purpose, you truly can move mountains within that group surrounding that purpose. So let me just give you an example. I have a group that is devoted to ladies that are potentially interested in the opportunity of 31. Great. I am very intentional in making sure that it is no pressure, laid back, fun, easy, and that I am sharing real life tangible ways that 31 has changed my life and what it can do for my family and what it could possibly do for them. I also share, I don't overshare, I share. I make sure that they know I'm available for any questions. Sometimes I have question and answer sessions and monthly I have opportunity events. I started this at the beginning of the last catalog season and I added more girls and qualified more girls to my team from February to the end of June than I have ever done in a catalog season. True story. Do I think it's because of this group? Yep, you're darn straight. You know why? Because the girls that I've added and have joined are younger generations. They are social media gurus. They love the group. Why? Because it speaks to them communication wise. They saw that and went, oh yeah, sure, I can sit in a group and read some information. I don't have to talk on a phone. I don't have to answer a text message. I don't have to respond to that email because really I'm going to read it and delete it or read it and forget about it or read it and put it in spam and never come back to it. Guys, we have to be open to new things in our business. And if I'm being real honest, I could tell you that it's not my favorite to go in and run all of these groups some days, but I can tell you what my favorite is, is that it's building those relationships with the women that are in the groups. And it's really reaching out to them and really connecting with them on a level that we might not ever have connected on had I have repeatedly tried to have called and called and called and gotten a voicemail every single time. People that don't want to communicate via phone, that get phone calls over and over and over, guess what? They find you annoying. But if you speak to their communication preference... I mean, it's kind of like a love language, honestly. If you're speaking to their preferred method of communication, then that is going to garner a response from them. They are going to get that, and they are going to reach out to you, and they're going to feel more comfortable with you. So before I share about all of these groups that I'm in, I really want you to just think about a couple of things. I want you to not start all of these groups all at once. <laughs> I did not do that when I started these groups. And I'm not saying that all of these groups are for everybody. That's not what I'm saying at all. I've just gotten lots of questions and this is the easiest way to handle it. I really want you to think about, okay, I need to get over the repetitiveness of making phone calls and maybe think about my method of communication with different generations because it is 100% different. I am kind of in the middle of a couple generations. I'm not an older generation and I'm not a completely younger generation. And so it really just depends what type of communication works best for me. And that's the way it is for a lot of people in my generation. But I will say this, social media is becoming the preferred method of communication and there are a couple reasons why. It takes a lot of pressure off. If you get something and you don't want to respond to it, you can just ignore it. It's easier because it isn't necessarily that face-to-face, -face, but that is a lot of pressure off of the other person. And it does help build relationships. How do I know that and why do I believe in that so strongly? Because I have an amazing team of women, more than half of which I've never met. They're all over the country and we have amazing relationships. I can truly say that. And so... It really 
goes back to you, your attitude surrounding that form of communication, how you are going to view having these groups, how you're going to set them up, and how genuine you are with them and how intentional you are in them to build those relationships. It all goes back to relationships, guys. And we can do that whether it's on social media or via a text message or an email or in person. We totally can build relationships in all forms of those communication. You just have to be genuine and intentional about it. And these groups that I'm going to share on are totally just one pathway that that is an option. So before you watch these videos and you judge me for having too many groups, totally fine if you want to, that's not my problem, that's yours. But before you look at it and go, oh my gosh, she's making more work for herself. No, I'm really not. I'm really streamlining it because I'm posting it to a group of people and then these women are feeling comfortable enough to come to me and ask me questions and share and be vulnerable and be open. And it's a lot of the younger generations. We know that that's a group of women that we need to touch and become a part of. So let's do it in a forum that they feel comfortable with. We surround everything else in our business with their why and what makes them click in a certain aspect of our business. Why is this one thing that we are hesitant to do? It shouldn't be. Really, this should be the easiest way to do it. So I want you guys to really just think about that. And I really hope that we can all get over some of our fears with social media. I still have fears with social media. I'm still working on them. But I will say this, the ones that I have gotten past and that I have made an effort to really step out in, they've never, ever disappointed me. In fact, they've surprised the socks off of me and they've truly blessed my business. And so I'm really excited to share about these groups with you guys. Um, and I'm really excited to help answer any questions you have. I am not going to open the groups up for everyone to just join and be added to, but I am happy to answer any questions that you have about them. So I'm super excited to share. Those videos will start being done next weekend, so just be on the lookout. But if you guys have any questions before then, please just let me know. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and um, yeah, I hope you all have a great start to fall on Monday. Bye, friends.